TGS presents Forza Motorsport 7 Seeker Championship High Speed Chase Audi RS. Get behind the wheel of a modern day Audi R8 LMS race car and beat earlier generations to the finish. Number 45 Flying Lizard Motorsports R8 LMS Ultra. One race, 250 points. Uh, pretty straightforward. See what they got to say. Acceleration is definitely number one. Cornering is number two. Braking is number three. Top speed, although it's cool, it's not so important, so I've got that as number four. But for me, it's all about acceleration and cornering. Brands Hatch Grand Prix Circuit. I'm gonna see how this goes. Never driven this car. Hoping it's all wheel drive, but it might be rear, I don't know. Definitely not the way I wanted that to go. See, I don't know if we'll be able to still catch him, but we'll try. that was tight I know I went in the grass and had a sloppy turn and whatnot but uh, I just figured go for it and kept the gas down and we, we cut through at the end somehow the s1 was leading this entire pack he was let go first I'm pretty sure so because uh, he's the C class so yeah he was just immediately was in first and he held it apparently but that's how you complete that you got, to, you got to finish top three. First place is obviously where you want to be. And that's that. You're going to receive the car pretty much uh, you know, as a gift for completing it. So it automatically adds it right into your inventory and whatnot. Uh, we just leveled up. Night of the Round Circuit. Credit 50,000. I like the Audi. But I'm gonna go for this because that outfit looks insane. That piece of racing gear speaks to you. Some fantasy yeah, Rome outfit. And let's confirm that we get the car real quick as it loads in. Not too shabby, it actually did pretty great. What's annoying are the bars on the window, but we got through it. And here it is. And it gives you 150 collector value as well. We appreciate it if you like and subscribe.